So while everybody was excited about the upcoming Call of Duty 2024 game, said no one ever, Bruh. no pun intended, now everybody's apparently kind of mad. Yeah. I want to dive right into it. And, and you know, the, the homie, yeah, the homie's back, guys. Oh, he back. Oh, he back. He who cannot be named, he is back. Track is making it abundantly clear they have zero concerns about ethics, liability, or copyright with generative AI. Clench your butt cheeks, guys. Like the video if you hope that this game turns out good. Dislike the video if you want to see. Let me actually show you this. I, I think you guys will understand the language of failure. Dislike the video if you want to see like BBC bundles only in this game. All right, roll it. A anyway, um, let's get into the meat and potatoes here. What Wait am I talking it. about with this particular video? What do I want to cover? This right here, without further ado, this is uh -oh. a real image, not doctored. This is a Treyarch job description kind of advertisement. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna show this, and this is making the oh. rounds on Twitter. A lot of people, especially digital artists, are very upset. Yeah. Let's read it just verbatim here, shall we? Treyarch is okay. looking for a talented 2D artist to join our in house team to deliver a large variety of dynamic content types for our games. A successful candidate will be an artist who is skilled in digital illustration, motion design, and- Man, I, I feel like that the 3,000 devs they had were just uh, having trouble making content, so they're like, okay, instead of 3,000 devs, let's actually make 3,000 Chad GPT accounts <laughs> to make that happen. <laughs> this is crazy! Now, personally, I'm not against AI, but we'll talk more about uh, this in a second. Wait for it. Using generative AI tools. This is a critical role which focuses on developing visual designs using a blend of creative and technical skills. What you'll do, let's just cut right to the highlighted part. Polish 2D art, art made, made by, humans. by humans and generative. Now listen, I'm not against AI, but like this game better, if this game is gonna have AI content in the game, this game better pay us to play. Bruh. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. I ain't against AI though. But like dog, how you gonna, how y'all think is gonna charge us 70 US dollars with taxes and if you're in canada that's like a hundred plus let me know where you guys at uh, in the world let me know man because uh, th this is crazy and, and people are also losing their mind guy comes out in mw2 og says that i always thought the calling cards in recent call of duty games look like ai i really hope that's not that case yo right now i'm like really really shocked uh i'm like pre okay pretends to be shocked but like i really don't know do you guys think that this friendly uav online was made by ai though Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, right now I'm kind of suspect. What if that was also made by AI though? That's the crazy. AI tools. To succeed, you should have, again, let's cut to the highlighted part, advanced <sighs> expertise in working with generative AI tools such as Stable Diffusion, Vizcom, Dolly, or Equivalent. I have made several videos over the years talking about them using AI to generate maps and assets and stuff in game. Here and we go. Yeah, I, I here don't we have go, any yeah. definitive proof of that, <laughs> but I truly believe go, they did yeah. that, especially with Modern Warfare 3, with all of the maps that they had to port over from Modern Warfare 2 yeah. and kind of redesign and whatnot. It's actually a pretty intensive process. There are a lot of rough edges though with all these maps. And, and before you see like the actual main event, guys, where do you lean with this AI thing that's happening? Now, make no mistake, okay? In a perfect world, we shouldn't have AI thing taking people jobs away. I think AI is good, working with AI is good for humanity, but also it's gonna have negative points as well. It can have consequences fatal consequences which elon Musk talked about which people that have knowledge i'm i don't have the I, i'm not claiming to have knowledge or anything like that but there are a lot of conspiracies a lot of people in the know people actually from the horse's mouth people that are developing this shit they are saying hey we need to stop it i'm obviously like taking up a notch and i'm talking about like the doomsday kind of situation with the air but let's come down a notch real quick right the the thing with ai is that it's gonna take and it already is taking a lot of people jobs away it's gonna happen it's inevitable it's also gonna create more opportunities for example in this situation right like activision is now okay well we're gonna uh track activision same company same bull squash right track is like okay we're, we want to hire people that have knowledge of ai you you see it's not right now they're not looking for people that can make their maps that can make their games they're looking for people that have knowledge with ai so they can you know stay there or work from home whatever and they can use ai now obviously uh, i i think rationally logically I think if they really go uh, full blown mode with this one and they upscale this uh, situation, I think uh, the people that they're gonna hire, their pay is gonna be very, very low, right? So it's gonna hurt everybody all around. Already people are losing jobs, economy is, bo economy is crazy right now, inflation.
inflation is rising, cost of living is going up, especially in the West is crazy. I mean, it's crazy all over the world, but like, yeah, right? So a lot of people are gonna lose jobs and, and this crap is also coming into YouTube. So basically point is, nobody is safe, nobody's safe. AI is making better videos right now than actual humans. How many times you watch a video and you're like, uh, I'm not sure, is this made by AI? Nine out of 10 times you can tell the video is being made by AI, but there are certain videos that like, hey, I don't know whether it's a human, a human made it or made by AI. And personally, I, as a viewer, I, oh, of course, like the people that I'm subscribed to, I want to watch their content. I want to know their true opinion, human opinion. But for, for example, right, if I'm coming across a new YouTube channel, if it's AI or not, AI, I don't care as long as the video is good. Most people don't care. And same applies here as well. If this Call of Duty turns out and comes out and it turns out to be good and nobody's going to care whether the maps were made by AI or not, it just happens to be that if the map sucks and people find out that it's made by AI, then absolutely people are going to hate it even more. What I'm saying is that like I'm not against the AI thing, but make no mistake, people are going to lose their jobs. It's going to be a bloodbath kind of situation. It's going to be bad. And if the content is also bad, then people are going to meme it rightfully. So I'm going to do it. You're going to do it. We're all going to do it understandably. So it's like we, we really are in a strange time right now, guys. Uh, because Thoughts, it, it agree, like they disagree. Just uh, I, I would love to know your take as well. Absolutely. Like at all. And I'm going to show you this particular excerpt back from November 2023 when Modern Warfare 3 was fresh off the press where I said, this shit's AI generated. You can't tell me otherwise. And look at this and then look at the Treyarch yeah. advertisement for AI generated. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, uh, overseers right, or whatever. And tell me I, I was wrong. Just look at this little snippet right here. Anyway, oh. let's get into the evidence that this game was AI generated. I'm going to go over Terminal a bit here. The new no Terminal, I mean. I'm going to compare it to the MW2 Terminal OG. Uh, this weird, like, turbine, it, it's so... Uh, I don't know, you get stuck on it. I, I thought it was an invisible hitbox at first, but it's because they added something to the top of it where your head just gets kind of stuck on it. Not yeah. only that, but you can pretty much just shoot right through it. I don't mean like you can shoot through it and the turbine has collision. I mean okay. you just shoot right through it. This okay. isn't bullet penetration. It's just like it's not even there. Yet there is collision on this little. Okay, if it's not bullet penetration, then what kind of penetration are we talking about? Thingy, and you can't. You'll hit your head on it if you stand up. And I got stuck on it in a previous video. I'm sure you guys have been stuck on it too. You'll also hit your head here, kind of going into the plane, like you just get stuck. Um, this wasn't the case Brad. on the OG MW2. Yeah. This isn't yeah. like something where they poured it over one to one and they make an exact. Yeah, 3,000 devs, guys. More like 3,000 Chad GPT replica, accounts. And then they just improve the visuals and whatnot, <laughs> improve even maybe how it plays. Like, crazy, this is just man. some weird. I mean, look how tiny this door is. Your head is clearly above where the thing is. And I get that it's like an emergency door, it's not going to be that big, but. You know, and then the cockpit's completely ruined. Your character starts jittering if he hits the center console thing here. You don't have nearly as much room as the OG. I mean, we're going to compare it one to one right now. Check this out. Uh -huh. You don't hit your head going in the back yeah. here. You just do not in the MW2 OG map. Uh, when you actually do get inside the door, it seems properly, like, it's proper. You know, like, you don't, you don't look like you're hitting your head on it when you go through it. You look like yeah. you're just barely getting by it. And then Damn. the cockpit's way bigger. You're not, like, glitching on stuff. The windows are bigger. You can freely aim through it. I think the reason the cockpit uh, cockpit feels bigger in the original is because like back in the days we didn't have the AA friendly <laughs> because that friendly UAV online takes a whole lot of space okay it's massive okay if you're using that as a skin in the game especially if you're using the Nicki Minaj uh, bundle in the game with a wide ass Borna obviously it's gonna take a lot of space right it's gonna take gigabytes it's gonna take space in the 3d uh, world of modern warfare 2023 the most advanced call of duty game ever absolutely it's gonna take a whole lot of space which in return is gonna make that perception that the map or the cockpit rather is small <laughs> Right? Smash the like button if I'm a genius. Smash the like button if you're a genius. Dislike the video if you think you're not a genius. Uh, Bruh. I think you're a genius, so like the video, guys. When we actually cover the turbine... Out like the video if that was a good way to ask for likes, okay? Outside, Bruh. it's night and day. You don't get stuck on it at all. It was yeah. polished and made right. Uh, not to mention that you can shoot through this, but it has collision. Like, it has bullet penetration. That's how you shoot through okay. it. You shoot okay. through it, and you can see here, I can shoot through it, and then the, I get it, uh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Again, it's done right. I get it, it's I get done. it, I get it, I get it. All right, Next welcome up. back to present day. Guys, yeah, we can sit day. here and debate the ethics of AI-generated anything until yeah. we're blue in the face. But the fact of the matter is that me bringing this up was 
a, a pretty much just a, a warning. That now, objectively speaking, right? Like AI is going to help with a lot of stuff, but objectively, a lot of people are going to lose their jobs as well, which is bad, which is definitely bad. So what do we do in this situation, right? Obviously, it's going to start a lot more uh, now or not now, but like in, in the next five, 10 years, it's going to be crazy if we're going to be going at the same speed as we're going and obviously like AI is going to the, the compounding effect is going to be insane, right? Because it's self-learning. It's going to improve. For example, the, 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 the videos, the AI videos that Will Smith eating the spaghetti, right? That happened, I believe last year, a year and a half. And it was like pretty bad. People were laughing. People were making jokes. People were like, well, look at that dumb video of that Will Smith eating spaghetti looks totally fake. But you know what? Wow. I'm going to make my meme videos. Okay. I'm going I'm to I'm send this video to my boo-boo as well, right? Guess what? A year later, Oh shit. oh shit! We got a real ass looking video. Real ass looking video of Will Smith eating the spaghetti for real, for real. And a lot of people were like, well, I, I wish, I wish I didn't buy this helmet and I wish I could say psych. But hey man, that's too late right now. It's going to get worse if we just sit idly by, we don't call it out. And then here we are, they're literally advertising it in the job description that, hey, yeah, they don't come, care, come oversee our AI-generated garbage. As if our games aren't soulless enough. As if yeah. just putting these devs in a room for a year, like factory workers, and telling them to churn out something to, to Bobby Codex. Well, he's not there. I guess Phil Spencer's delight. Um, as if yeah, that's, that, that's a good point, right? Like, I had this point in the back of my mind, but just couldn't get it out. I guess a uh, shout out to him. Yeah, the games are already are very soulless. With this AI thing, it's gonna be insanely soulless, bro. Like, there's gonna be no soul unless the game turns out to be good. But, and we're talking Treyarch. There, uh, and the funniest thing here is that, like, we have been hearing for a while that this game, by the time it comes out, it's gonna be four years. Four years, damn it. What y'all sick is doing though? How? Why? What? What? What's going on right now? You're telling me that after four years, you still need. Right now, it would be like more uh, three years, couple of months, right? Since it has it has been in development, all the way now you need AI. What? Now, obviously, it can be taken out of context. Maybe like they need AI for different kind of content, but it doesn't look good. Trek is looking for a talented two D artist animator to join our in-house team to deliver, and it, it talks about they need it for the AI and crap like that, right? So, yeah, it's not soulless enough. Now we have this. We have devs overseeing AI generated content and just kind of cleaning it up. The only problem is, is that uh, some devs are just bad at their jobs. Some are <laughs> overworked. Bruh. Some are simply going to do a bad job at cleaning up this AI generated mess. And I'll leave the link to that uh, full video about Modern Warfare 3 AI generated maps and stuff at the end of this one if you want to check it okay. out because there's okay. more I cover. I wow. didn't want to just rehash that entire video here. But, I got but there's more I cover in it and it all but shows that it, it looks like they've AI generated it and then they just never bothered to clean it up. There's so many rough around the edges parts oh, of yeah. multiplayer maps and what have you. In fact, if someone, could, if someone could tell me this, I would appreciate it. Uh, there's like this sign thing on Terminal in the gift shop that you get stuck on or you did get stuck on whenever I play Modern Warfare 3. Is that still there? That's something that seems like it was just added for no reason, absolutely no reason, just thrown in by some AI generated map maker thing, and then you just get stuck on it, and they it's never bothered to polish it and fix it. If they actually polished it and fixed it, please let me know. You might be saying, like, I'm nitpicking and stuff, and I say in that video, I'm not nitpicking. I really am not. If, if you let this stuff slide, like, you give them an inch, they will take a mile. Did anyone not see this coming? Did anyone back when I made that video think it was a conspiracy theory and I was just making stuff up and then I'm crazy and it's it's not possible they would ever do this. Activision Blizzard would would literally dig up their dead mother and pose her in a museum while the ghost <sighs> of Ted Bundy desecrates her corpse. If it means what? they can make a profit, tell me when I'm telling lies. Sorry for getting angry. Sorry for yelling. Uh, but tell. Uh, I think um, you kind of lied with the eye restore because uh, people tried and it didn't restore their hair. I think maybe perhaps. Tell me when I am lying there. You know it's true. AI generated content is. You know what? I take this back, guys, because apparently it worked. I guess. Bruh. It, it did work. <laughs> if if the homie Blame Truth used that re I restore helmet, I think it worked. 
<laughs> I love the guy, man. And guys, it's all banter. Uh, I don't hate the guy or anything. It's all banter, all jokes. But guys, click on this video on the screen. This recently just happened as well. I'm not sure if you guys ever were able to see or not. This is what Activision is truly doing in the game. Yeah, they're shutting down a lot of crap in the in the game right now. Check this video out. On the left, this video is on my second channel. Yeah, second channel, guys, second channel. Check out both of these videos and I'll see you right now.